Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to be testing out a large body uh, projectile made out of solid PVC. This was designed and created by our good friend Evan Perry of Texas. Now as you can see this is a very large projectile, one and a half inches long and uh, there's no attempt at all to make it aerodynamic. It's just like a, a big old soup can. Now PVC is not a very dense material. This weighs uh, 13 grams. Or if you're an American, that's about half of the weight of a Slim Jim. We'll be propelling these PVC projectiles to around 1400 feet per second or just around 1000 miles per hour. And because of YouTube's rules regarding uh, user-made projectiles, we're just going to say that we're going to be launching these out of the scientific mass accelerator. This will keep you safe in both the virtual world and the real world according to YouTube. Now let's head out to the Tauflator Mouse test range. Hey, welcome back Tauflator crew. Here we are again at the uh, private uh, projectile range. <laughs> That's uh, a cool shirt you got there. Yeah, hey, you guys check out the description, the link below, and uh, pick you up one of these shirts. Yeah, help support the channel and... Uh, yeah, if you, if you can't do a Patreon thing, just do it one time. Every little bit helps. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, what do we got today? Uh, today we got some uh, more from Evan out of Texas. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, it is the most unaerodynamic projectile. It's a, it's like a big soup can. He says he extruded these, and evidently it's a PVC. And, and I know uh, very little else about it, but uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, there, other than we did do one test launch and seem to be promising so today we're gonna go a little more in depth and give it a try and see what we can get out of these things got a few different targets down range and uh, see if they'll fly straight see what kind of uh, reactions we get out of our targets and we'll be using the vacuum jack cannon yeah the horizontal uh, solid fuel <laughs> launch device yeah <laughs> and that's Okay, it's a very dark, cloudy day. Let's see how the Kronos does. F-stop all the way open. Okay, first is a ballistic gel with a uh, drywall, sheetrock, whatever you want to call it, backing. <laughs> see what kind of debris comes out. Um, where are you going to be aiming? In the center of the gel? Uh, we're going to go for the center, yes. Okay. He's charging up the capacitor as we as we're as I'm speaking. Okay, I'm ready. All righty. Now this one actually flew a lot better than I expected, and it was a lot more accurate than we anticipated. But look at that energy dump as that PVC slug is broken into pieces after hitting that ballistic gel and there's not much more than just little sharp little shards left over. Now this shot was taken at seven yards away. I realize it's difficult to judge distance from you know video cameras and stuff like that but that's how far it was. Uh, not terribly far but not terribly close either. Hey, what happened? Yeah. Sure, exactly. It feels shrapnel. Okay, that's the entry hole, There's obviously. Our entry hole. Look at all that debris. Yeah, got a little skibble scabble all over the place here. Yeah. Including on the table. And uh, I don't know if these would be good for home defense or not, but look at that. Yeah, now I don't think anything went through the drywall. After passing through that's... a gel type yeah. substance. Yeah, just a little tiny block of it. And that's the marking I had on the tail end of it to check for rotation because we are using a projectile rotator to for uh, stability uh, yeah. well, okay we, well we got a bunch of little shrapnel holes out the back side. yeah look at that there was that thing hadn't been shot yet so it's it's got all kinds of little this is the main body of it went through here yeah And you're enjoying that way too much, Danny. You meet at both ends here. <laughs> Ready. All right, here we go. Whoa! All right, 
right, we're still at seven yards. Uh, this one, we had good spin on it, but it started to yaw a little bit. Remarkably, it still hit the target though. But that's what's really neat about this high-speed camera footage. You really can't blame Danny's aim or anything like that. You can clearly see why the projectile shot a little bit to the left. Okay, let's see if Danny's good enough to hit a baseball with a a weird PVC projectile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get a home run out of this one. Yeah. Man, it's so dark out. Woo! What the heck? All right, here comes the projectile. It looks like it's a little more stable than our last shot. And it's a little more accurate too. Do you like that little happy face on the back of the projectile? <laughs> but this one was really surprising. It really gives you an idea how much energy is being dumped into that baseball, by the way. It just ripped the thing apart. Very, very cool shot. It says soft strike. Okay. Syntex cover, rubber sponge core, China. So it's not even leather. Gosh. Mm. I thought it was made out of. I was wondering why there was a tattoo it's, on uh, it. I think Naga hide. Yeah, I'm Naga sorry. hide. Yeah, yeah, you know, those Nagas, they're getting to be extinct <laughs> nowadays. So they're having to import them from China. Yeah. You hit a basketball, a baseball, how about a golf ball? A little smaller. Ha! <laughs> Four. Now in this shot, the yawing returns. It's again yawing to the left. Wax the golf ball on the side and sends it almost 90 degrees to the right. And we have no idea where that ball went, but it went a long ways. Okay, let's see how these work with big game hunting. They, people don't hunt tigers anymore, but... Uh, not in California anyway. No. But we got bobcats down here. We might have tigers. You know? Yeah, there was a bobcat spotted in your town. Yeah. I think two now. Wow. Yeah. Maybe there's a big tomcat. I don't know. I don't know. We got this tiny tiger, though. Uh, <laughs> it's so it's like solid rubber or we, solid, we it's better, a, we better deal with it yeah okay let's see what it'll do I'm ready when you are all righty here we go <laughs> okay we got another pretty small target here it comes Looking really stable. It's got an E on the back of it for Evan. Thank you, Evan, again for sending these things to us. The slug disintegrates into thousands of pieces, but surprisingly that that tiger made out of vinyl or rubber or whatever it is was almost unscathed, but it did fly about 150 feet. We never found that one. Okay, ballistic gummy bear. Did you know we were the first people to ever shoot gummy bears? It's true. Everyone else copies us. That's why we got it on the shirt. That's right, yeah. I, uh, okay, I'm ready when you are. All that right. thing's very gooey and soft. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. This one starts yawing to the right, so it kind of steers to the right. Luckily, it hits something. It hits the brick that's kind of propping up our gummy bear. But because we had other slugs allocated for other targets, we couldn't take a second shot. The solid gold plated lead plate. Eight or 10 yards? About 10 yards, we moved it back a little bit. Yeah, we were at about seven. The plate is at an angle to ensure we have no, nothing comes back at us for safety. 
Oh, that one was kind of high. Wow. Now this projectile starts yawing upwards right before it impacts the target. So it hits a little bit high. Now it didn't do a whole lot of damage to the lead plate. It just left a big dent in it. But it did disintegrate the slug into, again, thousands of pieces. Okay, SpongeBob. He wants to go flying. Let's see if, let's see if, <laughs> I don't think, okay. That's a very optimistic target. <laughs> you gonna shoot the center mass of it? Yeah, we're gonna go for center and see what okay. we get. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Safety off. <laughs> and for the grand finale, this one actually flew relatively straight and accurately. Now this water cooler jug, or if you really want to get technical, they're called a carboy, are made out of polycarbonate and are very, very tough. They're designed to be dropped on the ground without breaking. So it was really surprising to me to see the carboy actually break apart like that. I do want to give a quick shout out to all our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, um, we probably have to fold things up and quit producing videos and you too can help support us for as little as 3.3 cents a day that's a dollar a month it goes a long ways and we really do appreciate everyone who helps us out thank you once bob lives to fly again that that was better than i thought you got his cute little aviator suit on there yeah and the there's no exit it just no, no exit hydroed out that hydro the top of that thing off that's pretty impressive and all the pieces we'll cut the wood and all the debris debris skibble Debr skibble <laughs> the debris let me get something else debris yeah but took the top right finally off got that. rid of that thing you've been wanting to get rid of that for a while i've been toting it around for two weeks oh okay <laughs> all righty all right